Hello everyone, it is the very next day. I am actually going to my meeting that I have and I thought why not update you guys on the Daisy Jones and the sixth book. So far I only read one chapter and that chapter is the chapter where we learn about Daisy Jones and her upbringing. So we know when she is born, her upbringing, how she met her best friend, and how her, the beginning of her like life, literally her teenage years looked like when, as a teenager. The ending was so good because that's when Daisy Jones was like, no, F all of this. These men suck. They keep taking credit for my original idea. And so she just decided to start her own songwriting, which honestly, I love when that happens because it's like amazing. So she, I love Daisy already. Like she's amazing. We, I still having, I almost picked up the book today to read. But then I was like, I wanted to take a bath instead, so I did that. I took a shower, sorry, not a bath. So I took a shower, but I am probably gonna be a little bit early for my meeting. So I brought my book with me, and so, yeah. I'm gonna read the next, the second chapter. I know I said I would update you guys every five chapters, but like, I feel like that's gonna be a little bit too hard considering once I read the first few chapters, I remember them for like a few days and then they would disappear from my memory. So, yeah, that's why I am updating you guys now before it's too late and I have to reread the first chapter again just to update you guys again. But yeah, I actually need to drive. That's why I'm not like looking at the camera. I'm looking at myself driving. So I need to pay attention to that, but I will see you guys in my next update. Trying to escape from this love that hurt me so, but I'm not brave. Hi, everybody. So I actually read a couple of chapters of Daisy Jones and the Six. So I have a few complaints. I feel like that in the beginning now, like, daily chapters are short. Like, she gives her introduction chapter, yes. But after that, I feel like her chapters are short when they're talking about Daisy and it's all about the six and their band with Billy and the drama with Billy and Camille. Camellia. So I actually finished Daisy chapter, the so first from 1974 to 1975. But this is the chapter that really, really like tug on my heart. Was the chapter where it was the chapter with the six, and it was talk right debuted from 1973 to 1975, and that chapter really tugged on my heart, just because well Billy's like attitude but the way he was doing things while he was on tour was like really concerning like he was sleeping around he was cheating on his wife who was Camille like pregnant and then like I just don't like Billy like that like mm, I just I don't really find him that likable so like it's just that he very like he cheating on his wife while he went on tour and then she found out and she was like okay well you need to get it out of your system before november 30th because the baby is due december 1st and i was just like you're allowing your husband to do all this to drink to do drugs you're allowing him to do this until november 30th and they and they actually said that every time it reached to close the date of November 30th, he still was not doing it right. And then I think they said November 28th. Said November 28th, Teddy showed up in a show in Hartford. He's there backstage when we're done with that. 
and I say, what are you doing? He said, you're going home, and he takes me by the arm and holds on to me until we're practically on the plane. Turns out Camille had gone into labor, so she said he had like November 30th, but then she went to labor on November 28th, and instead of getting in the hospital, he literally like stays in the car. He doesn't even go in the hospital. So Teddy goes in the hospital and Camille tells him to tell Billy that he had two options. Either get in here in the hospital and meet your daughter. They have a daughter, by the way. Or go to rehab. Like get yourself clean and until you're clean, you can't come back in my life. So Teddy took Camille's, well, I mean Billy's choices to Billy, and Billy was considering running, and Teddy was like, no sir, you're not going anywhere, you have, these are your choices, what you gonna do? So you can really see that Billy is conflicted, cause she really wants to meet his daughter, but he doesn't want her, as a baby, his daughter, to see him as a drunk guy. So like, he decided to go to rehab, only because he didn't wanna, he wanted to avoid his daughter, which I thought was selfish until the next chapter. Well, after Daisy's chapter, because after this chapter, Daisy's chapter, and after that chapter, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's Daisy. Wait, no, I think they're in the same chapter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think they're in the same chapter. And no, they're not in the same chapter. They're like after, no, yes, they're in the same chapter. So, what he ends up doing, getting out of rehab, and then he goes, he ends up getting out of rehab, and then he goes to meet his daughter and Camille. So, but like, during the first week of rehab, he actually, was it the second week first or second, one of those weeks, he actually gets to, to listen to the group, and like, one of the advisors, one of the person that runs the group, actually told him something and it stuck with him until he got out so i mean like that was good but i don't think billy changed like 100 percent yeah yeah he went to rehab but it wasn't for the reason that he did it for it was only because he was selfish and he was afraid to meet his daughter and he didn't want to meet his daughter like that because those were the only options either go in the hotel room i mean the hospital room or go to rehab. So we just chose rehab. So I mean so far it's a good book. I'm enjoying it. And I've annotated I will put them on the screen. I'll show you the parts that I annotated because they're so so good. I like it. So again my annotations are if it's in highlight then it's something really really important. Something that I love. If it's in black, it's something that I love, but it's not as important. Like, it's cute and stuff like that. And if it's in blue, then I find something either cute or sad, or like, I understand the joke or something. I need to go to class, but I will update you guys later. So far, I'm like 82 pages in. And then after that, I have the 789 chapter from 1975 to 1976. Also, the show for this is coming out March 3rd. I have an exam this week. <laughs> I want to get this video up on March 3rd, but I don't know if that's going to be possible right now just because I really need to study for my exam and I don't have much time to read, I, I thought. But I will continue. I will continue reading, like, don't get me wrong, but there might not be like updates a lot like this. You might just see me reading, you know. But yeah, I'm gonna continue reading and I will see you in my next clip soon, probably. If not, probably the next day. But yeah, I'm enjoying this book and especially, I mean, I would look up some trigger warnings. I didn't. But I think for this book, look up some trigger warnings first before you read it, just because you know what you're getting into, you see if there's any triggers or anything. But yeah, I need to go to class, but I will see you guys soon. I'm not brave, not enough Yeah, I wanna come in back Hello everyone, so why I'm gonna wait for my mom 
I'm going to talk to you guys about Daisy Jones and the Six. So I finished this book yesterday, literally yesterday. And oh my god, it ended like so well. The ending was done so well. It was so beautiful. I love the ending. Like, I cannot describe it. This book is so, so good. The TV show is so, so good. Like, the book and the TV show, so, so good. And, like, this is the first time, I believe, that I even, like, a book and a show adaptation of it. Like, it's so good. But only, like, on episode six. But, like, it's so good. But, yes, Daisy Jones and the Six. Without spoilers, I honestly can say that this book has been amazing. A good roller coaster for, like, your emotions to go, like, if you need to or something and the way that this book ended amazing that's all i can say honestly that is all i can say it was such a good book it's a good tv show adaptation and i would definitely pick this up if you have not already so those are like my final thoughts on it honestly i give this book a five out of five star rating and you can see my rating on goodreads if you want to follow me there but it is such a good Book. I cannot say this enough because honestly it's true it's such a good book like yeah it's amazing hello everybody so it's a few days later I actually went to Barnes and Noble that day that I was wearing blue I went to Barnes and Noble I went to like the Wiregrass Mall with my mom and we went to Macy's Dillard's Barnes and Noble's I didn't find anything I wanted, but because the prices were like so up there, I was like conflicted. So I have some errands to run and I'm going to do them. And then we are going to go to my favorite Barnes and Noble, which is like one story Barnes and Noble is all I need. I don't need two stories, two stories. I get overwhelmed. So we shall see what I'm going to pick up some books maybe maybe not i don't know yet because to be honest i want to pick up some book but i don't know yet so yeah we're just gonna go i'm gonna go drop off some things and i will talk to you guys later hey guys so i am outside of barnes and noble and i just wanted to talk with you guys real quick so as you know i finished daisy jones in the sixth i gave it a five teddy bears out of five because i loved it that much and the show is amazing. I actually cannot wait for tomorrow because tomorrow, I think the next few episodes will come out and then like episode 10 will come out on its own or they will release all of it. I don't know yet. But you guys do know that I'm reading The Seven Husband of Evelyn Hughes. I am not that far into it but it's like so good i am about 52 pages in and it's so so good so far like oh my god i love this book i love that you can read the text very clearly like i love it but yeah i also picked up book one of the twisted series and i can't wait because i have my friend recommended this series to me and she was all out on it and then i started seeing like the twisted men edits all over my instagram and i was just like it's a sign so now i'm looking for the second book of the series which is twisted games so you have twisted love and then twisted games i'm like i want to read those so bad but that's gonna have to wait until after ramadan because ramadan is next week so yeah and then there is a new dark romance that had been like i've been seeing booktubers do read them and it's like a disney version but of the villains so like it's like really interesting i'm captivated by that i have magnolia parks like i have so many books i want to read so i don't know if i'm gonna buy any books today or not we shall see but i'm just gonna take you guys inside with me so let's get going
so we are back in the car i did not buy any books which is really why i was there but okay instead i got lunch so you thought i got like a small caramel frappuccino and i got like a turkey sandwich thing it was good, but I was not expecting it because that was like a lot of flavors, but it was good. So now I'm going to go to Sam's and then I'm going to go home. Because what else did the girl got to do? So I'm actually going to make like a quick stop at Publix because my tulip died and it does not look good in the background that my tulip died. So I'm just going to go to Publix real quick and get my mom flowers and some tulips for my room. So we are back in the car. I got the flowers. I got the tulips. I got so this one is for my mom, obviously. And the white tulips are for me. I mean, it's a chaotic bouquet mess over here. So... We're gonna go home and I'm gonna go read more of Seven Husband of Evelyn Huge and yeah, I will see you guys in a while. In a bit, hopefully. Hello everybody, welcome. So it's the much, much later, obviously. It's Ramadan already, it's like the fifth day. Mashallah, it's been great. Anyways, I wanted to come on here and thank you for watching this video. This is all I have, sadly. I have not been motivated to record anything during Ramadan. I'm just exhausted. Like, honestly, it's been a little bit tiring having to manage my time and stuff. But inshallah, I will be getting there. I'm gonna go home and edit this video. But once again, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Inshallah. So yeah, bye. <laughs> Trying to scare me